Uh, very, very happy to be here. I'm happy to be anywhere but my apartment these days because I have a roommate. Yeah, her name is Kathy. She's petite. <laughs> petite is the French word for whore. She's one of those girls who's so, so tiny. She came into my room the other day and she was like, can I borrow this tube top? I was like, that's my scrunchie. <laughs> but thanks for making me feel like a behemoth. She's also one of those people who wants to split everything all the time. Everybody has friends who do this, right? Oh my God, split this burger with me, split this donut with me, split these fries with me, split this and that's and that's and that's and that's and that's It's an M&M, eat it. <laughs> Joke on it. <laughs> yeah. She used to be a cheerleader. Do we have ex-cheerleaders here? Usually tell, any room in America you say the word cheerleader. Yeah, and a girl just jumps up. Jennifer! <laughs> Ready, okay. I love cheerleaders. There's like a spectrum of cheerleaders in the world. They're the cheerleaders at one end of the spectrum who are like, yeah, rah, go team go, win the game, touch my boobs. <laughs> what color are we? Okay, just touch my boobs. <laughs> Spirit fingers. <laughs> then there's like the psychotic ESPN chicks. Have you seen these women on, the, uh, on TV competing who were like, we will win or we will die. <laughs> like if you met them in a back alley, they would cartwheel your ass to death. <laughs> I was watching the uh, national cheerleading competition. And there's this team that wins every year, the Kentucky Wildcats, right? There's this other team coming up through the ranks. Looks like they're actually gonna win till during the big routine, this one chick goes flipping in the air and on her way back down, she knocks into this dude's elbow and knocks her two front teeth clear out of her head and keeps cheering. <laughs> yeah, by the end, she looks like she's doing the monster mash. There's blood, she's like, go team, go. And the sportscasters who are so bummed they got stuck with the cheerleaders because they wanted football, basketball, are so psyched that something has actually gone wrong. They replay the teeth leaving her head <laughs> in slow motion. They take out that pen, you know that football like X's and O's downward pat? They're circling her teeth in the air, drawing arrows. Here's what they put apart in the air, Bill. Fascinating, Jim. Let's see it again. Then they interview this girl's teammates afterwards, and are they supportive? They're like, um, yeah, we totally would have won if Becky hadn't gotten her front teeth knocked out during the double super flip. She's a total spaz. <laughs> Meanwhile, Becky's off to the side holding a bloody towel to her mouth like, I'm sorry. I did the best I could. I need a dentist. Someone touch my boobs. <laughs> 